we're concerned about appendicitis. And I was like, really? It is Ariel or L. I am back for another bump day. So I apologize in advance. I kind of look like a mess. I am a little bit of a mess. Um, I am 13 weeks pregnant. I'm going to tell you all about my scary emergency room visit from week 12. So that's why a little bit of a mess going on here. Um, and I apologize. I think the next probably little chunk of videos is probably going to have some pretty icky lighting. I have been working night shifts and so I wake up and it's like five o'clock. And unfortunately, I mean, well, fortunately, I love October. I love the fall. I'm loving my comfy sweaters, but it is dark so fast. So I am using some artificial light and I just know it makes everything look not super glamorous so I apologize about that ahead of time but anyways let's get to the point of the video so <clears throat> as I mentioned in my last video or I believe I mentioned in my last video uh, when I was updating you guys on week 12 I was saying that I at the end of week 12 I went and saw my midwife and she called me two days later and said unfortunately you have a UTI you have a UTI and I never had one in my life. I have no idea what they're supposed to feel like, what's normal, what's not normal. This is also my first pregnancy ever, so I don't know what's normal and what's not normal. I also have endometriosis, and I've heard that some people that have endometriosis when they're in the earlier stages of pregnancy, they do have pelvic pain. So everything down there is a big mystery to me. So anyway, so two days after, or no, no, sorry, it was, uh, yeah, two days after my midwife appointment, I got the call about the UTI, and then I started taking antibiotics, and then I went to a night shift, and it was during that night shift I started having some pelvic pain. And again, I don't know what's normal or not. I now know that this is normal UTI pain, but so I was having some pain, and it wasn't super, super bad, but it was just uncomfortable. And then I, you know, as the night progressed, it was getting more and more uncomfortable. Uh, again, pregnant, so I can't really take much in terms of medicine for it. Uh, so I got home, and I tried to sleep, and I took some Tylenol, and I was still super uncomfortable. Again, I wouldn't even categorize it necessarily as, like, intense pain. It was just really uncomfortable. Uh, sorry if you hear weird noises. I'm next to the guinea pigs. Um, <laughs> so... Anyways, uh, so yeah, I was really uncomfortable, so I was like, man, I don't know what to do about this. I wonder if there's anything else I can take or if there's anything I can do to help with this UTI besides the antibiotics, like while they are work working to kick in. I mean, I know about cranberry juice and that kind of stuff, but I just wasn't sure if there's anything else I could take while I'm pregnant to help with the situation. So I called the midwife um, on their, like on the regular line or whatever and I just get transferred to like the midwife on call because this is like 10 o'clock in the morning by now so it's not like it's 3 a.m. and I need an emergency consult it was like you know 10 o'clock in the morning so I was just like oh I'm just calling to like see what's up and they talked to me for a little bit and they're like you need to go to the emergency room and I'm like uh really <laughs> so they were talking to me about where I'm having pain and stuff like that and they just said that where I'm having pain and and everything, they were concerned because I'm pregnant with kidney infection, which like, I understand that that can happen if you have a UTI while you're pregnant and they were just playing it safe. But yeah, so that was kind of frustrating. <laughs> But, so I wake up, my husband, he's laying next to me because we he was sleeping in and I had just gotten home from work. And I was like, ah, uh, yeah, we have to go to the emergency room. And he's like, what? What's wrong? And I'm like, it's not that big a deal. I called, oh, and I said them too. I was like, can I just see a regular doctor? Like, can I just come in? Or can I go to urgent care or something like that? Because I just, I hate going to emergency rooms. And they're like, unfortunately, because you're pregnant, you really have to go to the emergency room. And they said that because, like, they're a birth center, they're not really equipped to deal with, like, like emergency situations like that. And so, emergency <laughs> situations like that. So they basically just wanted me to go to the ER and get checked out and have them just, like, check out the baby and, like run a couple tests and just make sure that it wasn't a kidney infection to make sure it really was just a UTI, run in the middle of UTI, and to just, you know, make sure that everything was okay. So I get to the emergency room and it was a very long wait. Oh my gosh, I went to this little like suburban emergency room and so, and it was like 
by now it's like 10.30 on a Saturday morning and like people are coming in from like doing yard work and cutting their finger or like, you know what I mean? And, um, and I'm like super uncomfortable at this point and like, you know, sitting in like those stiff ER waiting room chairs was just like really uncomfortable. And I had just taken a Tylenol and I was just like kind of miserable. So I'm feeling gross, I haven't slept. Uh, we did get something to eat on the way. I think we stopped and I got like a breakfast sandwich or something because I was like, I just, I also need to like eat something. So we get to the emergency room and they, it takes a very long time, but I finally get into the back and they do a quick assessment and they're like, oh, we're concerned about, oh yeah. And then they were like, oh, we're concerned about appendicitis. And I was like, really? Because he was pressing on my pelvis and like where he was pressing it hurt, but it wasn't like just one side of me hurt. He was like... He was pressing everywhere and everywhere was sore because I had a UTI and because I'm pregnant and everything's stretchy and weird. And because I was having pain on the side that you would have appendicitis, he had to rule out appendicitis. Again, this is like a little suburban hospital, uh, yeah. So then, then they say, we need to have an MRI done. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And I was like, is that safe during pregnancy? And they're like, it's absolutely safe. And you know, we need to check you out because we need to make sure that, you know, the pelvic pain that you're having is really just from the UTI and not from anything else going on like appendicitis or like kidney infection and whatever. Ugh. They hook me up to an IV and they're just giving me normal fluids, no, like, nothing else. Um, and I asked him, I was like, is there anything else I could do for this UTI? It's really uncomfortable. Um, and he was like, oh, well, there is, I forgot, it's like py pyridixine. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'll put the word down below here because I don't even know. I've never used it really before. Um, but yeah, it's funny. And it goes, like, right through your system. So it's totally safe during pregnancy. And what it does is it just kind of numbs your bladder and it like turns your pee bright yellow um but yeah so so they, so they gave me some of that and I'm starting to feel better and yeah so I had to do an MRI which was really uncomfortable and I was so nervous because I was worried about the baby and I mean here I am like avoiding ultrasounds and I have to have an MRI done which just seems so counterintuitive to me but anyways, um, <laughs> and if you guys want more information about why we are avoiding ultrasounds, I will leave links down below. There's this person that I think is awesome called Mama Natural. She's on YouTube too, and she also has a blog. And I don't follow everything she says like to the dime or, or to the T, um, but she does have some really good information. And so I'll leave some links down below about like why it's kind of a, maybe a good idea to limit some ultrasounds. And so anyway, so I will leave some information down below. But anyway, so I had to have an MRI and it was super uncomfortable. I had to like hold my breath for a bunch of times and I was getting lightheaded. It was just like a miserable ER experience. And so we're there for almost eight hours. And this whole time, by the way, he wants me to be NPO, nothing per mouth, because he's worried if I have like appendicitis that I'm gonna need surgery to get it out. And so I can't have anything, I can't have eaten anything. So that was really <laughs> inconvenient. Pregnant woman, uh, super tired, super hungry, and I couldn't eat anything. So, so that stunk. Um, so yeah, the whole experience was just super not fun. Luckily, at the end of the day, they came back and they said, we can't see anything on the MRI. <laughs> they were like, the baby's moving so much during the MRI that it's like blocking other organs or something, so we can't even really see it. But my pain was a lot better on the pyridoxine or whatever. It's called per peridium. That's what it is. My pain was so much better on the peridium. And I was doing so much better. And I had only been on antibiotics for like, I don't know, less than 24 hours at this point. And so they basically came back and were like, we're going to assume that this is just a normal UTI and you're uncomfortable and it stinks, but like, we're going to let you go. And I'm like, thank God. <laughs> Cause really, I mean, I felt like it was kind of an unnecessary ER trip, but obviously like whatever's best for the baby, um, I'm totally fine with. So it was just one of those funny flukes that happened to us. It was scary because you know, I don't want to, it's hard for a pregnant woman to hear like you might have appendicitis or you might have a kidney infection or all these things. Like that's just not a fun thing to have to deal with. Um, but everything was completely normal except for the UTI and so they said just keep doing what you're doing drink lots of water lots of cranberry juice and you know uh, just keep taking the um, 
peridium, like as the instructions say, like as needed and whatever, and continue taking the antibiotics. And now I will say, I am almost done with my antibiotics and I'm feeling great. So I'm um, just kind of super tired, but antibiotics always make me tired and on top of the pregnancy, super tired. Um, but other than that, I'm feeling good. Like I said, I'm a little bit of a mess, but <laughs> I'm feeling good otherwise and everything's going well. And yeah, and happy fall, everybody. As you can see, I'm all decorated behind me with sparkly pumpkins and stuff because I love this time of year. So that's it for now, guys. Have you ever had a UTI? Have you ever had one during pregnancy? Oh my goodness, I was not prepared for that. That was cray. Uh, <laughs> um, anyways, uh, yeah, but go ahead and leave your comments down below and yeah, I will insert a picture of my, uh, the latest picture of my bump. And that's it for now guys, and if you like, subscribe. Bye!